Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a simple technique in Adobe After Effects to remove some unwanted reflections. Obviously if you can avoid these things on set that would be ideal, but if you miss something on the day, as we did with this shot, this technique may come in handy. Okay, so here I am in After Effects, I have a composition all set up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a new solid layer and we're going to take colour from the glasses approximately, it doesn't have to be entirely perfect, I think we'll go for the darker shade there. And we're just going to make sure that's not visible for now, we're going to use the pen tool to create a mask around uh, some of that there, so that it isn't as visible. And then we'll, we'll add that on so you can see that. What we do then with the mask is feather it really quite a lot and maybe lower the opacity slightly and that's covered that bit up but the, the trouble with this particular shot here is there's lots of different colors there so we're basically going to do the same thing again but we're going to take a different color and you just repeat this let's just see how that looks with um, a lot of this bit taken out and again, we'll make that visible again. Go into the mask, feather it quite a lot, and lower the opacity. Maybe feather it a bit more. Um, and already you can see that's starting to get rid of some of the shape there. We maybe want to increase that a little bit around. Um, but of course, you can still see the legs there. So again, we just do the same thing again, new solid. And that's starting to remove it a bit um, and just sort of go through the whole thing, go through the motions. So again, we make another solid. I mean, obviously with a clear mirror, you're going to struggle to get this looking very good because then you essentially have to recreate the background perfectly. It is possible, but it will take a really long time. But of course, this is the sort of thing that if you can catch it while you're shooting and fix it there and then, you solve this whole problem. Already, that's that's almost gone. We'll maybe do one more. But this is really a last-ditch resort. You want to try and... This is the sort of thing that is, is really just um, going to take your audience right out of the film. Um, so try and catch that while you're actually shooting so you don't have to go through this process um, this was just something that just completely flew under the radar for whatever reason um, but there you have it if we zoom out I mean you can tell now that it's been removed this is quite a rough version that's obviously quite heavily um, blurred so maybe what we can do is because you can see still through the glasses uh, there's this line here where the actor meets the ground. We'll maybe do one of those. So we'll add a new solid, we'll make it quite a dark colour. And what we'll do is we'll just sort of take the approximate line of it. It doesn't have to be perfect because again we're going to be feathering it and reducing the opacity so that it's um, not so visible. We'll maybe reduce the width of it, because that's what the feathering does anyway. There you go, That's that sort of works. Um, for the final film, I played around with that a bit more so it looked a bit more real, but as you can see that's just a helpful fix if you ever need to, but as I say, if you can f spot these things while you're shooting, that makes it much better so that then you don't have to go through this process but it's just a handy backup if it's odd minor things like that. So hopefully that's helped a little bit. It's really simple stuff, but um, it helped with the film just to keep that suspension of disbelief. Um, please consider subscribing. We are making videos more regularly now, and leave a comment saying what sort of stuff you'd like us to go through next time. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.